Hey guys, so <clears throat> another progress report. So I have just a tiny bit of asthma, not like life-threatening asthma, but just um, uh, if I get into something really aggressive, my asthma pops up and again, not life-threatening, but for somebody who has asthma, working with Angora might be a really bad idea because um, it's tiny. It gets on everything and it holds on to everything. Other other kinds of fiber that are coarser are not as bad. Um, but if you guys, if any of you have animal allergies, I would not suggest an Angora rabbit. I get over it very quickly, but I've got it in my eyes. <laughs> and it's not just when you shear them. It is when you spin with it too. And so... Um, I will feel better once I have vacuumed once and taken a shower. Again, I'm, I'm not, this is not an emergency. It's not like any reason for me not to keep a rabbit. But I, I did want to just let you guys know that for those of you who have maybe severe asthma, this would not be the animal for you to keep. Um, and, and again, if you don't have asthma, this wouldn't happen to you. Um, they do have a little bit of dander when you brush them or uh, air. A lot of times people will use a blow dryer, a professional dryer to blow dander out of their wool and to keep them tangle free. And they do have a tiny bit of dander that builds up in their wool and that can cause uh, reactions to people. What you're seeing is me trying to get all the fiber out of my eyes and it's not working. I love the fiber. I think it's phenomenal and beautiful and I love to wear it. But I don't want any of you guys to die. I would miss you. <laughs> so there's another heads up.